Hi guys! I'm Attorney Badet and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is about law school, bar review tips, and all those things that you will need to become a lawyer. So please click like and subscribe. Hi guys! I'm Attorney Badet. It's our one year anniversary here in YouTube. Maraming salamat po sa panunood ng aking mga videos. And I hope I helped you in your law school journey. And if you're not a law student, I hope I inspired you to pursue your dreams and to follow your goals. Let's get down to business. At dahil anniversary natin today, pag-uusapan natin ang isa sa mga pinaka-importanting bagay in becoming a lawyer. And that is answering law school or the bar questions. Today, magbibigay ako ng few practical tips on how you can efficiently answer the bar questions. This is very important because it's not just about passing your subjects in law school, it's slaying the battle that is the bar, diba? Before we proceed to that, I'd just like to share that I have recently joined the Jurist Bar Review family and I am a young coach. Um, as coaches, we help our coaches uh, to present their answers well and of course to answer bar exam questions. I'm so grateful for the opportunity na makatulong sa mga future lawyers uh, in their journey to passing the bar and the tips that I will give you today are the tips that I have learned while I was in a uh, jurist and the tips that I give to my coaches. Let's do it! Let's start off with number one and one of the most important things in answering bar questions or law school questions that is to analyze the question what is the issue to be resolved ano nga ba ang hinihingi ng tanong guys this is very important because this is the first step in answering a question you should have a proper understanding and appreciation of the facts sometimes we get lost in the facts and we fail to see the issue to be resolved your answer must resolve only the issues raised in the question. Otherwise, you will have a lot of unnecessary discussions. Or worse, baka maglagay ka ng rule or law na not connected to the issue. Second tip, always be responsive to the question. Is it answerable by a yes or no? Is it asking you to define or enumerate something? Or is it asking you to rule on a motion or contention or a defense? So, be responsive to the question. Dapat kung ano yung tanong, yun din ang sagot. Third and very important, your first paragraph or your conclusion must be complete. Ito yung pinakaunang sentence sa sagot mo. Bakit ito importante? Because this is the first thing that the examiner will see. This is where the examiner will know where you stand. Is it a yes? Is it a no? Also, this will make or break the impression of the examiner. So guys, always do good in your first paragraph or your conclusion. Napaka-important yan. Next tip. Guys, do not answer without a legal basis. Kaya nga tayo nagtitake ng bar exam or ng law school exam is for the examiner or the professor to assess your familiarity if not mastery of the law. Your legal basis is very important. Um, para itong paanang lamesa na sumusuporta sa iyong conclusion or yung sagot. So, do not forget ha, to, put your, to put your legal basis there. Because if hindi ka naglagay ng legal basis, it will seem like you are just stating your opinion. Kung baga, walang pinanggagalingan ang sagot mo. Next step, avoid unnecessary discussions. If hindi naman tinatanong, huwag nang ilagay, di ba? Not everything in the law should be included in your answer. Just provide for the relevant portion or rule in your answer. And most importantly, pag hindi naman inilagay sa facts or the facts in question, wag na natin i-discuss because that just means that it is not the main issue to be resolved. And final tip and very important guys, your proficiency in English. Guys, be mindful of your grammar, your punctuations, the small and capital letters. You might think that this is just a small thing, but it makes a huge difference. So please take note, you should be proficient in English. Kasi as lawyers, 
English is our primary language in our profession. So that's it guys. Those are my tips in answering law school or bar questions. I hope I help you and I hope you do well in your exams. Those are just the things that I learned while I was reviewing a Juris Bar Review and the things that I have also given as tips to my coaches. Alam nyo yung pagsagot ng bar exams, um, it's not learned just in one day. As early as now, even if you're just in first year, continue to practice. Practicing answering past bar exams will make a huge difference. When I was studying for the bar, I took at least 30 minutes or one hour of my day to practice answering past bar exams. So, pagpatuloy nyo lang guys, uh, yung pagpapractice ninyo and your presentation of your answers will surely improve. So, this has been Attorney Badet and I hope I was informative to you. Just keep on persevering, keep on learning and pushing to be a better version of yourself. And just like what I've always said, you can do it, future attorneys.